All of that stuff that you heard about the Virgin Madonna complex, that's real. This really is something that we are afraid of as women. We're scared to bring our sexuality to you and offer like, I really want this or I wanna do this or this doesn't really work for me because we, we are, there is an unconscious part of us that is afraid that you're gonna, you're gonna label us a slut and we're gonna be left out, we're gonna be rejected. Um, this relates to the other unconscious fears, which basically there are four things that we're afraid you will do if we express ourselves with respect to our sexuality and what we want or what we need. Um, when I ask women and men, what is your top sex problem? Women's top problem is pain. Okay, um, a lot of women, myself included, have had sexual experiences, lots of sexual experiences that actually hurt. Um, so for me, a lot of times the pressure is too much when a man is using his hands or his fingers with me and it hurts, it, it really hurts, but I'm so scared to say something that I just tolerate it. And in my research, this was a very, very common phenomenon. A lot of women talked about pain as a big problem, but they weren't talking to their partner about it. So here are the four reasons why a woman won't necessarily tell you when something, let's say, isn't working for her, or even if it is working for her, there's, there are some barriers to that. These are unconscious fears. The first unconscious fear is that if I say, if I give you some feedback, if I say, I, I actually, that kind of hurts, like I need it to be lighter, that you will lash out at me or uh, shame me. So you'll say, well, fuck you then, you stupid cunt, then I won't go down on you ever again. That there's a, there's a fear that you'll just push us away and you'll, you'll shame us and you'll reject us and you'll basically attack us um, verbally. Again, these are unconscious fears. This isn't what someone's writing on a survey response, but it's, it's, uh, it's fundamental. It's part of why we feel a little shut down about it. Um, the second unconscious fear is that if we give you any kind of sexual feedback, that you will withdraw. So there won't even, you won't even necessarily say anything, but it'll be sort of like kind of the same idea of like, well, fine, then I'll just, I just won't try anymore. Um, and you'll just, you'll withdraw from us. And ultimately we'll, you'll leave. We're afraid that if we, if we criticize you in this way or we give you feedback in this way, you'll kind of just leave. Um, the third reason is um, that we are afraid that if we really express ourselves sexually, you will think that we're a slut. That if we, if we say like, I really wanna try it this way or I wanna do this kinky thing, um, that you will think that we're a slut. You'll think like we're too much. You'll think that it's gross or you, you'll just, you'll be like, I always knew you were a dirty slut that there'll be an element of judgment that is really scary for us and it's sort of a fundamental elemental thing that we've been taught our whole lives and it would sort of prove that we're this bad, slutty, shameful girl. So the last reason that we might feel, feel shut down sexually or not express ourselves is that we're afraid you're gonna say something like, ugh, my last girlfriend was way easier than you. You must be broken. The word broken, the number of times the word broken comes up in my surveys is really heartbreaking. Um, this, is a real, this is a real thing that some men say, it's a real thing that they think, and it's terrifying. We don't wanna be labeled broken. It's one of our biggest fears that we are broken, that there is no hope for us, um, that we won't ever be sexually satisfied because we're just too difficult. So. Again, these are unconscious fears. These are not things that women are necessarily even aware of, but they are all the reasons that, because you, you would think like, oh, if I'm, if I'm doing something that hurts, like why doesn't she just say that hurts? Well, for all these reasons, it's really hard for us to say something to you because we're so afraid that we're gonna get attacked or shamed or you're gonna withdraw or you're gonna tell us that we're broken. Um, these are the, the reasons that a woman might not tell you. So. On a happier note, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to help draw a woman out, how to get her to express herself sexually in a way that feels really good. And, um, and that is going to be similar to the way that you would get a pussycat to come into your house. So if you had a pussycat, kind of like a wild cat that was out in the yard and you wanted to coax it into the house, this is a similar process to getting a woman to open up sexually because there are a lot of barriers to it. 
So the first step to getting her to open up is kind of like with a cat, you're just gonna sit on the porch with the cat and show them that you are a safe space. That's all you're gonna do. This is step one. All you're gonna do is just show them that you're a safe space. So what this looks like on a practical level is um, proactively, so not waiting for her to come and tell you something first, but going to her and saying, I really want sex to feel good for you. I really want our sex to feel really good for you. Um, notice this is not a question. It's not something she needs to respond to. It's kind of the, the foundation of sitting on the porch and helping the cat come in. All you're doing is saying, I, I really want this to feel good for you. You're kind of laying that foundation of this is how I want it to be, okay? Um, the part of the trick when it comes to this is not expecting her to open up right away. So it's it, a lot of times when I talk to guys about sex, they're like, oh yeah, I totally talked to my partner about sex. But when we really dialogue about it, they're like, yeah, I asked her what she wanted. And in my head, I'm like, that's not really gonna work. Because if, if a man says, well, what do you like? What do you want? All that stuff that I just talked about of the unconscious stuff is, it's like this barrier, this hurdle of getting over to say, well, this is what I want. It's not that easy. It's not as simple as, what do you want? Here's what I want. It's like, I need to feel like you're not gonna shame me. I need to feel like you want to know. I need to feel like it's safe. So presenting her first with, I really want our sex to feel good. Like, I, I, I really want that. I want to know. I want to know if something's working. I wanna know if something isn't working. You're creating that space for her to step into if she, if she is gonna be willing to express. It's like creating that container, like creating a safe sexual space and then holding that safe sexual space. 